Welcome to the Arkham Files, an actual play Call of Cthulhu RPG podcast. Featuring Seth Morrison as Tallahassee Turner. Say, hey, Billy, let's run out in the forest together. That worked out for me really well last time. Abel Morrison as Detective Billy McConnell. You've seen what we've seen. That dead light and the butthole monster. Donovan Bollard as Dr. Simeon Can't Stand Your Bits. What in the world? Where did you find that? Peter Morrison as Dominic Drunkard. We did establish there's no flamethrower, which is a crying shame. Sam Morrison as Major Frederick Aloysius Bakersfield. As soon as the going gets tough, the Tallahassee gets going. And I am your game master, the keeper of arcane lore, Alex Morrison. Now grab onto some dice and your sanity. Let's roll. Um, anybody in particular we need to keep an eye out on? Like the Ike Watson character? Ike, Ike Watson, that kid's... Yeah, don't go Don't go anywhere near that kid. That kid's a psychopath. I mean, is he, like, crazy enough to, like, stick in the back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Twice over and three times on Sunday. Look, I can't, look, I'm from the city, all right? And I know a lot of hard cases. The hardest cases were kids that were people that would watch out for a guy like Ike. You guys keep an eye out for him. But look. That's good to know. Um, but you just, you watch your back around here, okay? And those new guys, I don't know about those new guys. They're weirding me out. Some guys in suits, but a lot of them look like hard cases to me too, okay? But you say you want a Grant's friends. Grant's a good guy. He comes in, you know, we, you know, we shoot it around every once in a while. Talking about, he tells me his old war stories, but he's a good guy. Uh, so if you want his friends... Then I, I don't want anything bad happening to you, but you know, watch out for those those new guys. I don't know what's going on there. Watch out for. Stick clear the constable, okay? The the new constable. New constable Dawkins Zeke. Okay. Zeke Dawkins. He's uh, no good, huh? He's got that look in his eye, man. You know, he's seen some things. He's probably done some things, and the law around here ain't ain't no kind of law. And he's uh, kind of chummy with the mayor, then, huh? Yeah, those two. Those two thick of thieves. Yeah, speaking of the mayor, he's a real friendly guy, right? Seem yeah. Fairly friendly? Yeah. yeah you keep your eye on that guy, okay? Yeah, he seemed a bit, uh, yeah, a bit sketchy, too. So, yeah, just, you guys be careful, okay? All right, thanks, Denny. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. So, he leads the count. Uh, yeah, you guys head back to the bar. All right, let's get guests here. Finally. It's gonna be great, don't worry. Nicest joint in town. Yeah, can we get some chow? You got some food back there, too? Oh, sure thing. Sure thing. I got this kind of breakfast. Breakfast all day is this idea I got, okay? Hey, I'm breakfast my favorite three. meal. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling it the home run. You know, what do you think? Uh, yeah, it sounds good. Maybe you, maybe you can make something like a skillet, too. Okay, yeah. I don't yeah, know. Skillet. Um, If you're going to go with home run, you might as well make it bigger, you know, grander than the home run. The biggest oh, thing you can What's grander than a home run? Are you like a grand slam? I love it. <laughs> oh, man. You're right. If you're going to go home run, you may as well go all the way. Going all the way. Grand slam at Denny's. I like it. Breakfast all day. All right. You know what? I like that English man. That's on the house. You're going to be the first recipient of a grand slam at Denny's. Here we go. Cheers. So he, he gets back and starts, you know, going to work on the grill for the skillet. All right. Tallahassee Turner. Yes, sir. You're back there in the uh, you're back there in the dark room. You are doing your best, pulling out all the best stops. You know, all every technique you've been able to scrape up on how to salvage uh, photographs from a potentially damaged camera. You're being extra careful, really taking your time with the process, making sure that this turns out right. You know, you're not going to get a second chance on this. There's only two photos in this camera, so um. Once you get the uh, photographic paper in there, you put it into the developing solution, and as you're watching, 
the uh, last cam last photo on the camera starts to fade in in the developer solution. And Tallahassee Turner wants to take a look in your journal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, can I do? Can I roll a reality check? Uh, yeah. You're gonna need me. Uh, yeah. Okay. What do I roll for uh, my sanity? Yeah, you're gonna make a sanity check. Okay. And uh, yeah, let me do that before I lose more sanity. <laughs> zero, oh. zero, zero, zero. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? Yes. Rolls 100. <laughs> yes. Your rolls have been sucky, dude. That's reality. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. He uh, explodes. He cries so blood. So I have no idea if I'm in reality. He cries blood. Um, <laughs> he dies. No. My dice yeah. never stop spinning. 100, dude. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to do in this situation. <laughs> it's just a reality check. I, thought it was um, <laughs> I know, that's why I said the dice never stop spinning. Okay. So <laughs> Okay, so alright, so <laughs> Tallahassee Turner. Um I'm just gonna compile both of these uh these <laughs> sanity rolls that you're getting right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna need you to lose uh you're gonna lose five points of sanity. <laughs> Uh, so that's gonna bring no. you down to 41. Making it no, I'm, at, I'm at 40. You're tied with me. Okay. I'm, I'm at 40. I already lost one earlier. Right, dude, um, luckily, fail. you had the other photo also in another basin of with developer fluid. Um. Anyways, so uh, Doctor Simeon can't stand your bits and uh. Whatever your stupid face is. Uh, Major Bakersfield. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are you talking um, to, Bakersfield? <laughs> so you guys are digging through all the newspapers. Um, and uh, like you said, uh, Dr. Simeon, what you've been looking through, um, there's nothing like r recent as far as missing persons that really jumps out at you. But as you're kind of going through all these back issues, you do notice that there does seem to just be a lot of there there does seem to be a, a higher average of missing persons and kind of violent deaths around this area over the years. Okay. Yeah, there there was one thing recently that uh that jumped out that was just strange of a recent story. All right, you should have it in your journal. Everybody or just Simi? Just uh Simi. Yeah. He's a bull. Well, Simi and uh, Bakersfield, I guess. You guys, you, well, I guess Bakersfield, you failed. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, hey, what are you looking at over there? I walk over. <laughs> so just Doctor Simeon. Uh, Bakersfield's just reading back issues, being like, "Oh, this is some nice camping found a... gear." <laughs> so do you want me to read this, or? Yeah, I mean, if you want, it's up to you. Found a real good article of, uh, for Trader Joe's. I just got lost in Bakersfield. Hmm. Check this out. Phantom fire. Where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Maybe not always, as recent events seem to dictate. Someone starting a fire, either accidentally or on purpose, and then disappearing is not an event entirely outside of the common occurrence. But for the first, but for the fire itself to do the same, that is the cause for some bewilderment, as numerous eyewitnesses can attest to. Yesterday, a large amount of smoke was seen rising from somewhere in the vicinity of the cemetery. But when witnesses went to investigate, no fire was found and the smoke had faded to the point that it is that its origin was impossible to locate. I thought for sure there was some kind of wildfire or maybe house fire from how much smoke there was, even though everyone knows there ain't no houses out in that area. And when we gone when we gone to take the look, nothing. Strangest thing, Reuben Stotes reported. <clears throat> Anyone who has any information that could explain this strange occurrence is encouraged to report it to this newspaper and local constabulary. Constab. Yeah. Con I can't say this. Constabulary. Constabulary. Consta constabulary. Constabulary. Yeah. 
can stab you. You can stand your bits. Can stab you, Larry. Can stab your bits, you, Larry. Can stand your bits. What do you think of that, Bakersfield? What did you find? So, did when you was that date? article written? What was the date? Uh, Friday, June 27th, 1925. So a couple months ago. Yeah, yes. a couple months ago. That um, been, uh, well, I found this really sweet uh, issue of Trader Joe's. Oh, hell yeah. Let me throw this away. Let me see that. Yeah, here you go. They yeah. <laughs> got some real good nets in here. Um, so, yeah, that would have been that would have been a couple months ago. The 27th is like f- three or four days after Corbett was arrested. Nuh-uh. Um, and just as you're reading through that, you suddenly hear a scream from the back room. You hear, you hear that, Simeon? Tallahassee needs our help. Oh, what the hell is he doing this time? <laughs> I go running back there and I, well, I flick the lights off around us. And okay. then I open the door uh, cautiously and slowly. Kind of All right, so peeking. the door swings open on a darkly lit room that's illuminated by a single red bulb overhead. Uh, You see Tallahassee Turner down huddling in the corner uh, on the far end of the room. And he's just, he's got, he's ducked his head down. He's hiding. I walk over and I smack him. Snap out of it, man. What's the matter with you? Um, Dr. Sandra Bits, this would be about the time when you could use your psychoanalysis, as you were asking before. Ooh, don't mind if I Get some of that psycho sauce. <laughs> Here we go. Tallahassee's okay. Well, Tallahassee, you're screwed. I got a 92. All right, you're trying to talk some sense into him. You're trying to. You're just trying to meet his eyes, even, and get him to uh, kind of connect, so you can you have a conversation with him, try and calm him down. But he's just. He's just shaking his head and kind of swatting at you and just trying to hide his face. Is he holding the picture in his hand? Mm-hmm. No, it's still sitting in the basin. All right, I, I, I'm gonna take a I take a look in the basin. Okay, go ahead. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I could take him. Okay, so uh, so you guys come walking into the into the into the print shop uh you see jacob allister and he's he's kind of he looks at you walk in and he's looking back over his like over back to the back room and he just he's kind of like he, he's got a newspaper and he's kind of holding it in front of in front of himself almost kind of protectively and he's like uh hey hi how, hey. how are you uh you, you, your friend back there seems like he's uh having a little bit of trouble Is it, what's going on here um, oh, uh, we better go I find we'll out. Go find out. Some, some ruckus coming from the back room there. We go running back. Okay. Um. All right, you guys rush back into the room. You see what I described a moment ago. Uh, but Tallahassee's down there in the corner, and Doctor Simeon can't stand your bits, and Major Bakersfield are both standing, looking over, uh, two, two basins that are on the table. On the we. Counter. Look in the basins. I mean, I look in the basins. Okay. I do. Yeah. Billy also looks in the basins. Walk up and look in the basin. Uh, well, that's rather terrifying. Um, that was the last photo taken on that camera. There's two pictures. Two that's basins. right. There are two pictures. <laughs> Yeah, and as you one? look over in the other basin, as the other one fades in, the second to last photo it's creepy, yeah. taken on that camera. What? Oh, it's oh, the ghost. Dude. It's owlbears. 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 What do you guys see? There's three of them. Owlbears. You guys see that? Those look it's like three owlbears. Anthropothe joy. I There's read about them once in Jaws Tooth uh, Monsters. Shakespeare. So the something. first photo that came up, as you see, is a somewhat blurry and slightly obscured by foliage view of something that looks to have an enormous mouth with huge jagged teeth That's coming crazy. towards the camera. You can slightly see a oh shark-like gosh. eye glinting up in the top of the frame over the torso of something. It's hard to tell. That was during photo. the storm. 
Sharknado. <laughs> but in the second to last photograph, you see it's a forest scene at night. And a little ways off from the frame, uh, off to the right side, you see the same creature with the enormous mouth in the center of its torso. If you recall, just as described in Corbett's journal, with no head, it's the shape and it's the shape of a man that has legs and arms and a torso. It looks like a man, but there's no head. There are eyes set in its shoulders and an enormous shark-like mouth set in the middle of its torso. This one on the right appears to be turning oh. towards the camera as if the photographer perhaps made a noise when he was attempting to take this photograph. Now this, while alarming, is somewhat expected. This is why you came up here. This is what you were expecting to find. Now what's even more alarming that you were not expecting are the two other creatures that you see framed behind it, standing amongst the trees. We're gonna need some more nets. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger net. They're freaking huge, too. Whoa. Look like That's 20 feet tall. Pretty terrifying. So it's hard to tell the scale of the creatures from the photograph, because you're not sure quite where they are reaching on these trees, but they look like they were at least man size, but you have a suspicion that they are quite a bit larger. Oh. I'm going to need you all to make a sanity check. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot. Such a sanity. Does Tallahassee sanity. have to do another? No, I, I rolled them all together for you. <laughs> From your oh, hundred geez. fumble. Ooh, I succeeded. I succeeded by the skin of my teeth. 85 64. out of 87. Oh, you have 87 oh, sanity still? No, I, still? 64. No, I have 68. That's I was looking at my luck. Oh, damn. Ooh. All right, so uh, who succeeded? Nine. I did. I did. I rolled a 17. 71. 17. So everybody succeeded? No, no Donnie I did didn't. not succeed. Okay, Dr. Simeon, you did not succeed. Everybody who succeeded lose one sanity point. Um, this is not good. I'm in the John third. Me. John, we can't Card, you are very sane. I think you are the most sane of everybody. It's all the drinking I do. <laughs> um, It actually probably is all the drinking. Sam, what do you, what's your sanity, Sam? I'm at 39 uh, Baker's... now. You're at 39? That's yeah. terrible. Wait, is that a... Is that a is I thought you were at 40, Sam. Your... I'm at 40. He just I lost started one. the scenario at 41, and I lost two. So, so wait, is he permanently... Yeah. Is Sam permanently insane, too? No, he's no. not. Uh, Dr. Simeon, I need you to roll a D4 and add one. Oh, oh, join me. Oh, my gosh. I told you, join me. I've been rolling like schniz. I've been rolling like gooder. <laughs> like schnitzel? <laughs> like schnitzel. Oh, hello, everybody. It's me, schnitzel. I was hiding in this block room. <laughs> <laughs> this whole for one you stumble into my trap. Two, three. I lose three. All right. Okay, so you're down to 65. Couldn't find my pen for a second. Did you guys see What's the flying bears? What's your sanity bears? at, Don? 65. He still has so much sanity. Bakersfield, because you are uh, going off the deep end. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Uh, can we save the pictures and then uh, turn the lights on? Uh, yeah, you can take the pictures out and you guys can leave. They're all nice and uh, developed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys, you guys can take the pictures out with yeah, you. Yeah, let's flick the lights on and grab Tallahassee and kind of, you know, try and calm him down. We uh, took rooms at the local inn. Uh, perhaps we should reconnoiter. Yeah. Reconnoiter. Reconnoiter. The house. Re the, Re Re the, let's. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Let's Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Let's uh get over to the rooms and we can discuss next steps. Did you just say geet? Gila douche. What? All right, so you guys want to head back to Denny's? Yeah, and can we get Tallahassee to kind of 
follow us. Yeah, that's fine. You guys can, uh, Thank yeah, you so Tallahassee. Yeah. All right, so you guys hop back in the truck. You head back over to Denny's. Um, so you guys just go back into the rooms. Yeah, we just head up to the rooms and kind of. All right, so I'm assuming, so let, let's say that you guys waited to kind of go over all of your information until you got back here in the room. So you guys head back to the room. You're in there. Uh, you get Tallahassee a drink. That actually does seem to help calm him down. No way. I can't drink that. My best friend Fred Landers will be disappointed in me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just kidding. I'll gulp it down. Tallahassee Just is like uh, a big converted to Mormonism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gulps it drown. <laughs> Um, okay, so then, yeah, now that you guys are all together and you're in kind of a private area, uh, you, you share information about everything. And go ahead. What do you do? What um, do you do? Now that we've shared all this information with one another, I think that we should make our way down to uh, Mordecai Shep's house and, and see what's going on down there. What time is it? It's probably like 2 o'clock. Um, right? It's <laughs> probably... Probably like four in the evening, maybe close, closing, closing in on five. Well, what time of year is it? It's September. It's Remember, uh, Jameson so said a few hours of light. Yeah, you stay indoors after yeah. dark. Yeah, because so. it was, you know, it was about an hour. It's like forty-five minutes or so from Jameson's. Um, you guys stopped at that camp for a little bit, looking around. Um, you guys have been in town for a little while, so. You know, it's been three or four hours or so since you got up this morning. Uh, let's see, what is it? It's, what, like September? Yeah. Yeah, it's Shep's mid-September. Shep. Mordecai Shep's shack is so just around the corner. it get dark till probably 8, eight o'clock-ish? Yeah. Yeah. So we got a couple so hours. I say we go Let's there. go to Mordecai's. Mordecai's. Let's make that man cry. Yeah, I'm with, uh, I'm with Dom. I say we go check out Mordecai's house. Mordecai's house. Let's get back before dark. Those creatures in that picture, I don't want to run into them in the dark. Oh, I agree with Billy. Billy's scared of a bunch of owlbears. Billy's scared of a bunch of monsters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so is Tallahassee coherent? Yeah, he's he's coming back down from his uh his episode. Tallahassee, you hear that? Now you're happy. So what do you guys say? Episodes. Should we should we head down there? Let's yeah, let's head up to uh let's Shep's house. All right. Is uh, Mordecai Shep's house like walking distance, or should we drive? Let's drive. Let's uh, take all of our. You know, gear I mean, us. it's not a very big town. Most everything is, you know, quote unquote, walking distance. All right, guys, let's go to the truck. Let's get our gear, get our nets, and let's go net Mordecai. All right, we'll. Dr- well, I guess we can drive. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Let's, let's just drive. Let's drive. We oh, got all our gear in the Billy, truck. Uh, Billy, I go. call shotgun this time with Billy. The flamethrower is huge. <laughs> I'm gonna ride on the tire. Um, so. <laughs> yeah, we just head down there. Okay. All right. So, guys, what do you th- what do you think of those photographs? Uh, it's it appears to me that um, what the major said Corbett told him is accurate. He talked about the butthole monster being individual, and in this photo, you can clearly see at least three of these monsters here. Bring it on. I think we need to uh, proceed cautiously, because we don't know how many of these monsters there might be. There's three. Yeah, there's only at three. least three. Here, look at the photograph. There's at least three in the there's photograph. Three. You see the, look, well, look at the photograph. Okay. Fourth one. Do you the, see a fourth one? Does the photograph a show That's a tree. every monster in the woods? Yeah, is this an, yeah. Well, um, those are those are the woods, and there's only three monsters in it. Okay, but what if there are more monsters behind the camera? The, you no, mean the, the guy monsters taking? Take it? You're right. Yeah. Who's taking the picture? It could be. There it could be, could be, a fourth be monster. the fourth monster. It's a family photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see him like popping out, like he's too early for the timer. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but the only right. the only thing here, gents, is these don't look anything like. The butthole monster that, that Corbett built. That's Clearly, true, we uh, we're dealing with something different here. We gotta stay sharp. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, Bernard Corbett experimented with a lot of weird things before he 
finished with the butthole monster. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you monster. quite yeah, if you remember a head, a head beast, beast running around. I do in this recall house. a head beast. <laughs> Very. Um, I remember how the original head beast was a lot dumber than the one you invented. <laughs> the original head beast from the Mister from the written Mister Corbett was really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wasn't it like a baby's head and with some like? No, it's a woman's head, like I said, like like I had, but it has a foot coming out of the neck <laughs> and arms coming out of the ears. <laughs> So it has like a, like it bounces around on a foot with like oh arm God. hand ears that it like hops around on. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's that's not so scary. scary. <laughs> that's stupid. It's like growling at you, like. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's like maybe weird and like a, ju- I mean maybe it's like scary and like a just weird, twisted. really odd twisted kind of way you got to find but a picture that i really want also to see just it. sounds stupid <laughs> <laughs> so i instead made it a woman's head attached to some bony configuration of spider hand legs yeah, that creepy. are stripped of skin and have claw check out that episode sharpened at bone Files. fingers <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, so I don't know if you guys liked that better than the uh, foot, neck, arm, ear, <laughs> head, but it seemed a little more menacing to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. While we're here, I'm not taking any chances, so everyone is going to stay armed at all times. Keep a revolver or keep a keep one of these pistols on you, and a shotgun at all times. A, you got a flamethrower? And a flamethrower. Here, here drunk, drunk card, take the flamethrower. What's this? Thank you. Yeah, can I take a shotgun too? Yeah. I yeah, you guys can I will yeah, take you guys can arm up with a shotgun. The flamethrower. My firearm shotgun is only 25% though. I think you're better with a handgun than you are with yeah, a shotgun. Yeah. All right, give that back. You might. Yeah, yeah. I'm terrible with it. Uh, I give uh, Billy a second uh, I'm going to take the shotgun. I'm so going to take the two. shotgun. And I got a Molotov. I got two what? You got two pistols on you. So what's the plan? How are we approaching this? We're I mean, are we just gonna go? Forest. I think we need to go a approach show of ship force first. on everyone. No. And be like, tell us what you know, because look it at all of our guns. Might be a good idea at some point. The thing that we need to keep in mind is that in Arkham, these beasts existed, or the butthole monster existed because Corbett created it. There's probably has to be somebody here, at least one person, who is the co-creator or even just the caretaker of this group of monsters. So whether it's the constable who's in on it or the mayor (laughs) or some combination, we have to be wary of everybody we talk to. Well, I think you guys already know one. Mordecai. Yeah, right. More like a body keeper. Yeah. yeah. Which is where we're going now. I think with uh, Mordecai, our best approach is straightforward. Show of force. Show of what? All right. Force. Show of force. Show of horse. Yeah, did you bring F-O-R-C-E. a horse? F-O-R-C-E. Force. If anyone's got a horse, bring it. <laughs> Show. <laughs> I get the horse out of the back Show of the horse. <laughs> <laughs> I will ride the horse. Do we have a flame the flame horse. Horse. Let's go. Okay, so you guys all climb up atop four white horses. <laughs> Over here, Hello, four lady. white horses. Hello, lady. <laughs> Ra, ya, um, ya. <laughs> Mine's singing. All right, so you guys start heading. You guys head down out of your rooms. You got. You walk down the stairs. You give a nod to Ezra as he's kind of looking at you a little concerned as you uh, head out to your car. You kind of see him mouth. Watch your back. I flash him my piece and up. say, don't worry. <laughs> I tip my hat down. Um, it's starting to, the sun is starting to sink in the western sky. Uh-oh. As uh, the, the light is starting to get a little dim in the day. Uh... The clouds are starting to roll in. It looks like it might start raining. Maybe that storm that swept through in the northern part of the state might, might guys might be kind of ching some just edge of that. Is it a high storm? Maybe. I breathe in stormlight. Out your gems. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh hey, uh, 
We have the dead light. Yeah, I got it in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's also in your guy's truck. So if we so, uh, uh, tackle one of these monsters, we can draw a blood yipes. symbol on its forehead. Oh, man. I think they're going to wreak havoc for a while. Yeah, don't forget, there's only one way to get that light back in the box. I, I, or if Tallahassee <laughs> is crazy enough by then, we can sacrifice it. What? Yeah. <laughs> Shh. You weren't Ever, supposed to tell him yet. Everyone turns and looks at Tallahassee. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, we still have the dead light. Like, I was saying it like that. Like, we still have it. Not like, let, we still have it. Let's burn a whole bunch of people alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we go to Mordecai's house. So you all pile into the truck. Um, your resolve kind of hardening as you guys realize the seriousness of the situation up here. It was always fairly dire, but now knowing that there are numerous creatures up here, and you at this point aren't really sure how many, and they are apparently out and running around the countryside. You're filled with a, an even stronger desire and drive to find Mordecai Shep and put an end to this predicament that you find yourselves in. You take a turn down Mordecai's road. There's a, This looks like it was a shabbier part of town and once you kind of get to his road, most of the other houses are gone. Um, there's nothing really down this road, if you can call it much of a road. Is this Harrington Lane? No. Harrington Lane is on the other side of town. Nicer area. Uh, it winds around a few times before the, uh, uh, the shack comes into view. Uh, it's run down and ramshackle. Uh, it sits at the lonely end of a crooked road nestled up against the oak and birch trees that seem to be attempting to reclaim their lost territory. As you pull up, you don't see... There are no lights on inside. There doesn't seem to be any sign of life. What do you do? I go running up to the door and kick it in. Should uh, we circle the house? I mean... Have a couple go in the front, and uh, is the shack? I mean, does it look like it's big enough to have a back door? We wanna. Uh, not really. Make sure this, he doesn't the, do a the, runner. The shack looks like this is a one-room shack. Um, let's make I'd sure like to go up to the door and uh, make a listen check. Like, just one, one room where everything is contained uh, from the outs outside of it. Looks like barely more than a shed. Can we scout yeah. around? Can we roll yeah. a spot hidden and yeah. or a listen? Spot Which hidden and listen. Hidden. 59. 49. I'm going to do a listen. I got a 70 on listen. And we can both all do. You guys can all. do any of these things. Well, the best person should do either. Like, if you got a good spot hidden, yeah, you Yeah, I think I'm going to kind of, yeah, but you, you can know, do a spot hidden and look listen. around the shack, see okay. if I can see anything, fresh footprints. I said we can only do one. Okay. All right. Uh, see that. if I can, you know, notice anything around the sides. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, roll a spot hidden. So, uh, roll Alex, spot we can hidden. we can all do both. Uh, Forty-seven. Right? Forty-seven. Is that a success? Yes. Yeah, Eighty-five. Okay. All right. Hidden. I'm gonna roll a listen too. Success. A, who? Okay. So Billy hard. McConnell, uh, you come walking towards 39. the shack, looking around. Um, approaching the shack, it doesn't look like there's any sign of life here at the shack. It's there's no lights inside. Looking around, you do. You do see some footprints kind of around, but there's quite a few of them, and they're all just kind of running together um, near the door and also just spread out in the dust and dirt around the uh, the front area of the shack. Uh, what else were you kind of looking for? Uh, just kind of whatever's around the shack. I mean, is that like a bunch of garbage or uh, just it's, a bunch of debris? Yeah, pretty much like what you'd, what you'd see at a place where a slob was living yeah you know there's like a broken axe handle out front there's some wood kind of piled up on the side firewood looks like um just out, outside on the side of the on the side of the shack you got a lot of trees around it or it's yeah a it's kind of an open area it's kind of nestled back up in the trees and you couldn't really see it until you took that last bend and no windows there are windows yeah there are yeah. okay i uh successfully listened at the door 
Okay. Uh, Dom Drunkard, you come up and you put your ear to the door of the shack, listening closely. I'm gonna hang back. You're pressed up against this door, not knowing what's inside. Listening closely to whatever might be approaching from the other side. You don't hear anything. So I rolled a successful listen. I'm just kind of listening out around the shack, see if I can hear anything in the background. Okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're you're up near the uh, up in the shack. I mean, you're listening. You don't you don't really hear anything. I mean, you hear just kind of your regular uh, outside wood noises. You hear some animals kind of out in the uh, running around. You know, squirrels and and birds in the trees and everything in the in the forest and foliage around you. So but nothing that really jumps out at you. So guys, let's be smart about this. Not everyone go to the door. I'm gonna climb up on top of the box truck and keep an eye out. I'll keep my my Colt forty five drawn. Kinda of take a knee on top of the box truck and I'll watch for anybody coming or anything coming from any direction. What's your rifle? Twenty five. <clears throat> Or so as we get close to the door, can we smell anything? You know, like decay? No. No, you don't. I would add that in with your spot hidden. So. Should we uh, look in the window? Would an occult do any good here? Would I be finding any kind of symbols or anything like that around the house? Um, occult is like what you would roll if you found some symbols and then kind of wanted to try and interpret gotcha. them. Okay. All right. I'm going to look in the window. Okay. Uh, you look inside. Um, there's a little bit of light coming in through the window and from the outside. Uh, from what you can see through the window, and the window is very dirty. It's, it's tough to really get a good picture of what is entirely in there, but you don't see anybody moving around. Uh, the place just looks like a wreck from, from what you can see through the window. All right. It's just, like I said, it's a small just single room shack uh, and there's there's just, just kind of junk strewn everywhere from what you can see through the window it's through the through the dirt and the grime it's tough to tell if the place has been like turned over or if Mordecai is just a slob all right I'm gonna go up to the door and see if it's locked Okay. I'm just gonna You're if gonna it's knock. if it's unlocked, I'm just gonna swing it. I'm just gonna push it open and back off with my shotgun drawn. Uh, is it locked? You, Doctor Simeon, the door is not locked. I don't like this. So you, you push it. Scary. You say you push it open. I push it open and then I back off real quick with my shotgun drawn. Okay. You push it open and the door swings open. Um. It squeaks as it uh, swings on its old rusty hinges and sticks kind of halfway. You look into the dimly lit interior. You see what we what I described a moment ago, what Dom Drunkard saw through the window. It's the place is a mess. You don't see anybody moving around inside. You see junk strewn about. Um, uh, it looks like the whole... Yeah, it's hard to tell what uh, what's going on quite inside. It doesn't look like there's anybody in there from what you can see. You don't hear anything. You don't see any movement. There's junk strewn everywhere. Um, they're what look like feathers all over the floor the like from a <laughs> the owl bear <laughs> <laughs> the owl bear <laughs> and now that you mention in the woods oh, you hear a full moon tonight <laughs> <laughs> all right um did you walk in or are you just looking i'm just looking got my shotgun drawn i haven't gone in yet all right after you got a flashlight? do we need one it's still kind of it's, it's still like daylight dim. it's a little dim but i mean it's just kind of dim cuz yeah, I mean, there's no lights inside, and okay. And uh, right, I, I walk power. in. Um, no. Can I roll you don't a know, spot like, hidden? Probably not. It'd be rare for even a lot of buildings out in this area downtown. 
What did you say? Uh, I'd like to go Bakers. in and roll a spot hidden. Okay. Bakersfield pushes past Dr. Simeon and way. moves towards the door, shoves it open. <laughs> uh, you look inside, and the place is just a mess. Uh, again, it's hard to tell if it was... Uh, it would be hard to tell if it had been searched recently or if Mordecai is just that much of a slob. There's bottles. Uh, there's a disgusting collection of bottles around, plates with half-eaten meals, uh, soiled clothing. Um, the only thing that gives away that the place had been has been searched recently is that the mattress has been cut open and there are feathers spilling everywhere. Tallahassee yells from the truck. Don't forget to search for trap doors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I uh, roll a spot hidden? Uh, where would you like to search? I can't just do a, a broad spot hidden. Yeah, on the you whole can house. do a spot hidden. But are you are you searching for trap doors? Yeah, definitely look for uh, trap yeah, doors. Yeah, I'll look for trap doors. I'll search <laughs> the bed. Um, and I'll just I don't know, I'll search all the crap on the ground. All right. Uh, roll spot hidden. And um. Yeah, what are the rest of you guys doing? I followed him in, and I I'm specifically looking for trapdoors because that's actually dude. what I was thinking Freaking before we a. got or when we got up to the shack. I'm like, I'm gonna look and see if there's a trapdoor. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going like in. Uh, search for a spot hidden. Uh, I Bakersfield, you didn't failed. succeed. Did you choke it up, I Sam? Choked, man. I mean, Bakersfield, uh, 21. I'm kicking butt on my spot hiddens. Tallahassee, uh, what is with your concern with trapdoors? Is it from your old book? How'd you know? Which adventure was that? Mr. Corbett. (laughs) (laughs) Um. (laughs) Touche. Yeah, there you go. Um. And also Tallahassee in the secret cellar. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, uh, Billy, you come in, you're looking around. Uh, you see Major Bakersfield, and he's just kind of kicking stuff around, just kind of making a dis- had disgusted look on his face, just like, ugh. ugh. He's kind of picking up some soiled clothes, just like, ugh. Um, Bakersfield, you're not, you're not rolling all the bad rolls out of your dice. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> just let's just, just hear him let's leave it go. after one leave it alone <laughs> um so Billy McConnell looking around uh you do notice something that looks interesting over in the uh over in the corner of the room um uh it looks like so in the front right hand side of the room is the wood burning stove um and taking a closer look, it looks like maybe there's a... As you're walking over there, you're kind of... You're looking for trap doors. And you're, you're stomping down on these different boards. And as you get close and you stomp down on one just under the wood-burning stove, it shifts. Oh. What did I tell you? Hey, guys. This board's moving over here. Hey, Tallahassee, I think there's a trap door. I knew there would be. <laughs> <laughs> or I enter the, the house. They're everywhere. I run in and throw them all top down the trap door. <laughs> so, Al's while everybody's uh, doing all that, the shack just a reminder. An unlit Molotov, it just shattered. I'm on top of the truck, so, like, okay. periodically I want to do a spot hidden to just keep my eyes peeled. Okay. If that's okay. Um... Who else is... All the rest of you guys went inside. Mm-hmm. Just ran inside to go throw a Molotov cocktail down the no, trap door. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I threw that okay. light down. <laughs> so what are you doing, Simeon? So did you guys go inside? I did. I went inside. I followed uh, Billy. Yeah. Okay, so everybody's inside but Tallahassee. Yeah, once Billy said there was a trap door, I went in. Oh, oh frick. Die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so Billy, do you reach down to... What are you doing? Yeah, I start messing around with the board, see if it's something I can, like, lift up or... Okay. Yeah, it is just a small board. Once you reach down and you grab it, you realize it's not as 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 big as the rest of the planks around it. It's a small section. As you you shift it and you pull up on it, and there is a small compartment uh, under the floor that appears to be full of some things. Um. 
uh, there's a box actually in the uh, compartment under there. So it's just a small compartment? Yeah. Uh, Which, now that you think about it, looking around, realizing where it is, um, uh, it, it's possible maybe whoever searched this place before didn't find it because maybe the stove had been burning recently and it had been too hot to actually search in that area. Cool. Uh, before I reach down and grab it, I just want to look at the box, look yeah. around in it, see if there's any traps or... Uh, if check for traps. Any right? <laughs> yep, check, check for, for traps. Booty traps. going back traps. to his d and roots. That's what I said. I said booty traps. Yeah, but I, you know, look at the box, see if there's, like, writing on it or whatever. Um, yeah, there's not... You don't see any any writing on it. It just looks like a, you know, like a shoebox, kind of. Okay. Oh, like a shoebox? Yeah, like a shoebox kind of thing. Or, like, an old little chest, it's but about the size a of a shoebox. Um, but there's no writing on it or anything. It doesn't. There's nothing that looks sinister. Okay. Yeah, I lift it out. Are you gonna check for traps? Well, yeah. I mean, I said I was going, and then you started just. I was just. You asked what the box looked like. <laughs> what do I? Uh... Roll spot hidden. <laughs> okay, spot hidden. Uh, 99. <laughs> okay. nope. There are no traps. Minus 96. You lose there's track not of the a box. single trap. On That's this box, this is the least trapped box that was ever not Looks trapped. Looks good, guys. I'm gonna get it out. Okay. I reach it. All right. Three d6 poison dart traps <laughs> explode from the hole. Uh, is there? A, no, you lift it out. Gelatinous without. Cube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is a gelatinous cube. It is. And a, and a mimic. It uh, just sucks you down into the tiny crack. Um, and a shoggoth. So we'll uh, bring that in. Um. No, you lift it out without any problem. It's light. Uh, it feels like there's a little, a little bit of weight in it, but it's not super heavy. Um, you open it up. Yeah, I mean, I get check? the guys gathered around. Yeah. Okay, so you open up the box. It lifts open. Um, inside, you find um, a stack of cash. Did I take it? I take it. Looks, it. It looks like it's about $400. I take the $400. Which is... A pretty decent chunk of change. Uh, there's a 38 revolver. I take the 38. And under and underneath that, there is a collection of letters. I take the letters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I take the box. Uh, before anybody can take it out of my hands, Abe, hey, you can have the box. Uh, <laughs> I pull the money out and already took it. Stick it in my pocket and the gun. I took it. Okay. And then, how many letters are there? Uh, there's there's a pile of letters in there. There's a whole bunch. Oh, okay. Uh, who are they from? Your mom. Do they have dates uh, on them or anything? All of them seem to be signed with the same signature that says B.C. Signed by Josh oh, Corbett. Corbett. Yeah. I think... Bad Corbett. I think perhaps we should... Jackpot. I think perhaps we should, uh, leave <laughs> quickly. I... It looks like this house has been tossed. We don't want to linger. Tallahassee Turner. Yep. Why don't you roll your first spot hidden for me while you're out of the truck? Whoa. While you guys you are go uh, down. While you guys are in mother here. Mother of all mothers, there. 94. Oh, all, <laughs> all three. Okay. Apart for Joe. Everything's good. <laughs> but yeah, let's... It's uh, real good. I uh, uh, the rain, listen. it started to rain lightly out there. <laughs> I don't... What were you saying, Dad? I don't you think did, we yeah, should linger here. But you actually didn't notice here. since you rolled I so far. I think forward. we should uh, head out quickly. This place has obviously been searched, and there's no telling when somebody might... Return. I think maybe we take the letters and we go back to Denny's and we uh, discuss there. Letters? What letters? Yeah, I think uh -huh. that's a good idea. So I put the lid back on the box. Okay. And, uh, yeah, start walking out. Yeah, let's go. Let's okay. go back to, uh, let's go back to Denny's. Okay, so you guys, uh, you leave the the disgusting mess that is Mordecai's chef's We close the door behind us. He closed the door. Oh wait, Fine. we we replace the board, and then we close. You the replace door. the board, and then you close the door behind yeah. you as you head back out. Um, you all try climb back in your truck and head back to Denny's. We'll leave Tallahassee on top for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> I felt my spot hidden, so I didn't even notice him come out and get in the truck. Make it spot hidden while you're up there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he's like, Come you guys on, all fail your spot hidden and drive off with Tallahassee Turner on top of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like riding a horse. 
<laughs> yeah. Tally ho! Um, okay, so you guys make your way back to Denny's without incident. Um, climb out of the truck, you head inside, you guys just go back to your rooms again? Yeah, I mean, we congregate in one of them. Okay. Yeah. We congregate in one, and then, yeah, we, we start going through the lettuce. Okay. So, um, you have the first letter here. I mean, there's a lot of letters. As you're searching through them, um, there's a, a lot of these are just kind of inquiries as to the health of the creature. Um, things like, also things just mentioning I'm sending money. Um, how much do you need? Just inquiries like that. Yeah. Um, but there are a few letters that jump out at you that seem to be more interesting than the others. Can get it to pull back up or to go. So, um, you guys all have these now. Does any do you any of you guys want to read them or do you want me to read them? You read them in your sexy voice. Read okay. them in Bernard Corbett's voice. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's well, wait. How do we know it's signed Bernard Corbett? It just says BC. It could How do you be know like it's not Bastard B. Cat? <laughs> you do not, actually. <laughs> All right, read in the voice that you think it is, Alex. <laughs> but read it slowly. Well, we All right, okay, here I go. Well, March 15th, 1917. Well, I wish I had a dad. <laughs> it is the bastard cat. <laughs> Definitely the worst cat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> right. Dom, why don't you read one of those letters to us? Me? All right. Uh, March 15th, 1917. Mordecai, as per my last visit, I now agree with you that a more isolated, secure location is required for further housing and study of the subject. I will be traveling out there again in three days, and we will appraise a new location. It is not convenient nor productive for my business, but the near exposure from the last incident cannot be allowed again. BC. Big. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like here's Mordecai letter two. Right. Here's another one. Does anybody want to read this one? Oh, I do. Okay, oh, go for it. I want you to. <laughs> 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 then I won't. <laughs> Tallahassee. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'll read it. Go ahead, Tallahassee. Turn. <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding, dude. All right, fine. March fifteenth. June 6th, 1917. Okay, maybe I should have read it. <laughs> oh my You're right. The right person was <laughs> reading it. Hey, it's my mom's birthday. Oh, man. June 6th. All right, Billy McConnell, you found the letter. You read it. 1917. All right. Mordecai, we agree that to, oh, okay. maintain, to maintain secrecy in the construction, we need to hire labor from outside of the, of the NS... Franklin County area would take presidents over. I can't read this stuff. <laughs> Mon monetary would take precedence over monetary. Take precedence over monetary concerns, but these costs seem outrageous. Sound a doubt, Simi. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a really good library use. <laughs> <laughs> my English is 80. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so freaking tired. I don't understand. Oh. All right. Okay, I understand that the engineering and masonry work will require some degree of appreci appreciable skill. But how difficult can it be to dig a hole? To clear some shrubbery. Shrubbery. The plot has been purchased, and I would imagine that typical. What is that one? Funerary. Funerary. Sir. Fun yeah. Funerary. Funerary services. Funerary services would include the clearing of the plot and the. the excavation. excavation of at least the standard six foot hole. Ooh. <laughs> this should get you started, and perhaps you could see welding a sh wielding a shovel yourself before bankrupting me with an exorbitant fees 
for menial task. Bastard cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it sounds like oh, they cat. buried something. He mentioned funereal services. Well, is uh, this related to the cemetery? Remember, remember this the fire? definitely the, sounds the like they're digging over in the, the cemetery. Yeah, the cemetery. the phantom fire was a few months ago, and this was eight years ago. I'm saying that's probably something that happened again. Hmm. Yeah, but you remember Mordecai disappeared eight months ago, so maybe he dug like uh, his little workshop over there in the cemetery. Yeah. Is that so? This was yeah. This this letter was eight years ago. Yeah. Are there any more letters or just the two? Yes, there's another letter that jumps that seems to be related and is around the same period of these ones. Um, also, I will add. Uh, Donovan doesn't actually struggle reading. These are written in like a handwriting style that is a little bit difficult to read, everybody. So <laughs> All right. don't actually assume that Donovan needs Pete's help to read. <laughs> I often actually do need his help. <laughs> December 17th, 1917. Mordecai, rejoice, for today is the day of our salvation. I hope you'll forgive my li liturgical. <laughs> sound, sound it out, Don. <laughs> Thank you, Simi. My liturgical turn of phrase. But I suppose our success and the location of the achievement has me feeling a bit whimsical. Superstitious of the credulous notwithstanding, I believe we will be the first ones rising from a tomb in Jerusalem. Congratulations are in order, Mordecai. In spite of cost and setbacks, the laboratory is precisely as I had imagined. Again, I hope you will forgive my whimsy in the elaborate locking mechanism, but I suppose my fondness for Tallahassee Eternal Tales. Yeah! Is there a, another page? I knew he was a fan. Yeah, there's a second Can page. Down? Uh, it's not letting me. It's Letter three, yeah, page two. Pictures. Oh, okay. No, it's a different, it's a different hand up. I have told you he is my neighbor, or have I told you he is my neighbor? Has gotten the letter the better of me. Nonetheless, with my restoration of so many myths of old, I cannot wait to see what great truths and mysteries await discovery in our studies ahead. Thank you for your continued assistance and Godspeed. Yog speed. Yog speed, <laughs> my friend. BC. As below, so above. So let's establish what we know. He's clearly a fan. <laughs> 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 All right, I think we're done with the scenario. Alex, great job. Yep. We that well, was that was the mystery. You solved it. Uh, when was that one written? Bernard Corbett is a fan. Uh, or I guess we don't know if it was Bernard. I believe it was around the same. December seventeenth, wow. nineteen seventeen. Uh, yeah. Eight years. Ago. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. a pretty good assumption that it's Bernard, since he said Tallahassee Turner is his neighbor. So clearly they've um, created a lab, a laboratory, with a, a complex locking me mechanism. And he and, mentions uh, rising from a tube. And they're practicing necromancy. <laughs> um, I think when he says we will be the ones rising from the tomb, he's saying the laboratory is in the cemetery. It's yeah, under the tomb. That's what I was say. And he's rising from it. What does it say? Up, Let's as, see if there's a mausoleum above, so there. Below. Is that what it said? Yeah. Yes. There's got to be a mausoleum there. I think the we key. should So, Tallahassee, mm -hmm. yeah. did you write some kind of book or do something <clears throat> in one of your uh, adventures that had something to do with an elaborate, elaborate, elaborate. locking <laughs> mechanism? What does that have to do with you? <laughs> did I write a book? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. There's elaborate locking mechanisms in all my... Well, Tallahassee not Turner and the elaborate it's, locking mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's from Tallahassee Turner and the Tallahassee Turner and the elaborate locking mechanism. Part two. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was in my treasure. It was actually his longest book. It was a very elaborate locking mechanism. Um. All right. I I think that we should probably, since it's getting dark, and Jameson told us that we. I and and we I'm, went back already. I thought we were reading we this. Yeah. I'm saying we shouldn't go out again for the night. Let's uh, retire to our rooms. Maybe get some more. How many rooms spirits. did we get? We got I think five rooms. We should just stick to maybe one. 
Whoa. I'll just <laughs> let's just spoon on the on the bed together. Oh, we got five spoons yeah. lined up. Tallahassee look at Papa. I'll go talk to Denny, anyway. see if he's got some cots. And then we some what? Cots. I don't think we can fit. <laughs> um yeah, I mean you have the uh, you, you guys do have a couple double rooms, but I mean you could you could fit a couple people in probably the beds or one or two or whatever. And then there's enough room that a few of you could lay out on the floor. All right. If you wanted to all stay in the same I'm room. I'm definitely not sleeping in my own room, fellas. Sam and I mean, I, maybe you do have, we should take a watch. I think you guys went with two rooms. So you have two bed, two double bedrooms is what we got here. So If you're scared, Sam and I have a technique that will make you not scared. You could have two people in one room, three people in the other room. Or you guys could all just cram into take one a room. watch. Or whatever configuration you Somebody like. This is your game, is always guys. I'm not going to rail. I was wondering how to sleep. <laughs> also, we could take, yeah, have someone stand guard. Or maybe we swap off. All right. Um, so okay. So are, are you guys all staying in the same room? Yeah, for Tallahassee's sake. Thank you. Where he's going to be the middle of the big spoons. Okay. Hey, uh, help me drag one of these mattresses in. We'll throw it on the floor. Done. Or wait, there's already two beds in this room, isn't there? Let's throw one. Yeah, there's yeah. only one person two that beds. has to sleep on yeah, the floor. Yeah, there's two beds. You guys could share no. two people in a bed, two people, and the person yeah, stays up. Two people in each bed, and then one person staying to watch. So no one's sleeping on the floor. floor anyways. I call not yeah. with Tallahassee. What? What's wrong with me? I'll stay in the bed with you, damn. <laughs> All right. Also, it's not really that late quite yeah, yet. Are you guys just night? <laughs> it's probably I like mean, seven o'clock. It's starting. It's about starting to get dark, but I mean, it's not quite bedtime unless you guys do just want to go to bed. We can go get some more. You know, spirits. I mean, is that all the letters yeah, that were in the go, box? Uh, get some spirits. Get some chow. But it's up to you. I mean, like we can just fast forward to see to if bedtime. there's any new peeps in the tavern that we want to hit up for some info. Um, yeah, let's go grab some chow. Hey, De hey, Ezra, Denny's. Okay. Why don't you whip right, us so up you guys some? Head back uh, out into the, uh, yeah, we're gonna go downstairs. Area. Talk to Denny's. Is there anyone else in the tavern? Uh, there's a few other people. Okay, go talk to. Some um, people. it is evening. Looks like, um, uh, Robert Morgan is still there, kind of at his table over in the corner, still drinking, or not in the corner, kind of up closer to the bar, uh, still drinking. Can I do a spot oh, I... hidden in the tavern to see if I see anything suspicious there? Yeah, go ahead. Um, you do see another uh, couple. There's a couple, a uh, man and a woman, that look to be in their 40s, are uh, over eating at a different table. No, I did it. I got a 24. Um, I never get that. On a spot on hidden. A spot, I don't get my spot. I don't get my spot hidden. I don't. <laughs> I. Congratulations. I did it. I got a 24. Spot, nothing hidden. Spot you did it. Again. You did it, Dr. Oh Sammy. my gosh. Congratulations, everybody. <sighs> World's best cup right. of coffee. <laughs> okay. You do manage to spot this spear trap as it stabs into your head. <laughs> as the last thing you do is succeed on your spot hidden. Are you sure it's not the Derek falling there. through the ceiling with a chainsaw? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as an owl bear snatches you out the window and drags you out screaming into the darkness. I guess I didn't find anything. <laughs> okay. No, you look around. There's a. Uh, there's nothing that looks like uh, extremely suspicious. Uh, the people all kind of look at you as you come down. There does. There is one man, a new. I mean, the other people are new, but there's another person that looks a little bit different from a lot of the people you've seen. Okay. Uh, he's a pretty nicely dressed young man who's sitting at a table by himself. Um. Uh, very clean cut. Uh, he's not wearing a suit, but he's wearing uh, like a nicely pressed shirt with suspenders. Oh, that's my boy. I uh, oh yeah. I'm gonna. I snap um, my suspenders. I pull them out like this. I snap them, and then I walk over to him. No, ah, fellow let's suspenders not man. Walk up to him. Yeah. Let's go talk to Denny first. Um, you go talk to Denny. I'm gonna go talk to my boy. With suspenders. All right. Hey, Denny. Okay, uh, as you guys come this on. This guy looks a little different. Is this one of your out-of-towners? He's like, yeah, but he's not, a. Uh, he's not one of the, uh, he's not, he's not one of those good, that's the kid. The one at the Warthrop house? Yeah. That's him. Hey, 
Hey everybody, this is Alex, your keeper of arcane lore and expletive-laden tirades. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Arkham Files. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go leave us a review on wherever you found this podcast. Hit us up on social medias. We'd love to hear from you. And head on over and check out our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash The Arkham Files. Uh, sign up over there for all sorts of great things, including, but not limited to, exclusive bonus episodes. So check that out. Don't want to miss it out. Support your favorite show. Thanks again for listening, and we will catch you next time.